Recently, we had a presidential election, as you all know, and that's because we have a democracy where we vote for the leader of our country. Now, all adults vote for who they think is a better candidate, right? Well, no, not at all. Actually, according to CNN, only 55% of eligible voters cast their ballots. 55%. What does this say to our kids? I think it's telling you today, Z, that our right to vote is insignificant. Now, I happen to know a thing or two about politics and my government, but this knowledge did not come from my school and came from my parents. We talk about certain issues and how they'll affect us and how they make us feel. My brother and I even get to go to the polls with their parents and see the actual voting ballots. However, this experience is not typical for most families. A child's civics education, the knowledge of how politics and government works, is important early in life to help them understand the rights and duties as a citizen. This knowledge will also help them understand why they should care. They are, after all, the next generation to vote. And we want this next generation to help raise percentages in active voters. Plus, who knows? An early understanding could ignite a greater interest. One of us could be our next mayor or even president. That is our potential. But let's take a step back. Remember before I told you that only 55% of eligible voters cast their ballots? And that was for a presidential election. The number drops considerably when we get to local elections such as school board elections, judges, city mayors, district representatives, and so on. In 2011, the University of Wisconsin researchers found that less than 21% of eligible voters cast their ballots for local issues. This is disappointing because they affect your day-to-day -day life more than a federal election. In 2014, the last time eighth grade students were required to take the NAEP, on a scale from basic proficient and advanced, eighth graders average just above basic. Students at the basic level should be able to identify historical people, places, and events. They should also have a beginning, un, un, beginning idea of political concepts. I am here today to ask for your help in spreading the word that our kids need a civics education starting at a much younger age. I can't help but ask why we aren't taught this until high school. It's disappointing that according to the ABA Journal, only one of the 50 states has been continuously educating their kids on politics and our government. That state happens to be South Carolina, not Ohio. So this is up to you. Do you want young minds learning about civics? I do. According to Science News, the US is ranked 31st out of 35 developed countries in voter turnout. I would like to know, in the future, the U.S. is ranked number one, and one of the best ways this can happen is to ignite a greater interest starting at a younger age. So what if students at home were educated on politics and our government at home and at school? We are the next voting generation after all. So you might be asking yourself, how can I help? It doesn't have to be complicated. Watch the evening news together and have discussions. Let them ask you questions. And if you don't know the answer, do some research together. Let it be fun and memorable. You could even get involved in the upcoming local campaign like I did with my mom. No more signs. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you.